Hi everybody, welcome back to day four of the Rogue Lands Gauntlet, the challenge where we attempt to get six straight Rogue Lands wins, one with each character. We're picking it back to up today with Axton. Let's get this job done. For those of you that are curious why I'm playing Axton, it's simply because I feel confident in my ability, especially like in the early game, mid game, and late game, to make him work against the dragons and against pretty much any other type of enemy come, ac come across. Now, TDR reload builds are something that I don't like doing all the time because they're kind of busted. That being said, um, I'm going to be a little bit shameless. A Widowmaker 48. 487,000. How much does... I thought I saw another Jacob's Pistol somewhere else. Yeah, they're pretty similar. Exact same damage. Better accuracy. Buy rates are different, but I won't be able to get there anyway. This one's better. This iron is better than this Widowmaker, which is crazy to me. Okay, so... Because Widowmaker is a cooler name. I don't think I'll need that Bandit Pistol. We will take a Torg Shotgun. Because if we get Grenadier going, we might want to do that. Ooh, Class Mod's perfect. Per this is exactly what I was looking for. Veteran Class Mod. Reload Speed, Max Ice. Um, it's a really nice... Engineer. Ooh, even better Reload Speed. Even better... Mag Size. Very cool. And I'll take this engineer for now. And f we don't get any points to start off in the traditional rogue lands, so let's get this job done, -zo. Oh, wait. Last chest. Oh, someone would have. Some, I know someone was thinking it. Someone was thinking I was going to miss it. I was thinking I was going to miss it. Get me up there. Yes. Okay, do we get rewarded with something cool? That's a nice. That's a kind of a cool Vlad off assault rifle. 172,000 damage at an 8 fire rate. Okay, let's get out there. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Our our first and foremost primary option is T door reload checks. Let's be honest with ourselves. These are gonna do by far the most damage, probably in the early game. I now have a fire T door reload chuck if I want it. Picking up that one as well. We don't have a non-elemental pistol. Just collecting my T doors now. Especially in Axon, if I can get, I mean, this class mod's really, really good, but once I get some grenade damage going on Axon, he, this becomes even stronger. It's, he's he's like the TDR guy, so. Chuck me. I've also, oh, see, out of ammo. This is why we want to have something else that I can depend on. Maybe some turret action. He's fine. He goes down. Let's get a, we have a corrosive weapon, don't we? Yeah, we can go Malawan for that. And what's going to be our best TDR for this zone? For pistols. I think it's honestly just this one. So we, we brought pistols to the party as well. Where are you? Right there. Hey. Don't dodge. Later, kiddo. You're really not that tanky, are you? There we go. That's a really nice, efficient, easy, quick mobbing zone. And I get to reclaim my turret in time. Very cool. I'm kind of undecided as to where I want my first... Oh, let's go, baby. Where I want my first points to go. Don't go under the wall. Thank you. It's a times two emerald rifle with melee damage, which... It's a times two bandit pistol as well. It's got melee damage on it, which makes it a little bit worse, I think. But it's times two. It's a doll assault rifle. Maybe it'll get, get something done for me. We don't have anything for slag yet. We gotta take a slag weapon. This wheel gun has less damage than the Widowmaker I was looking at earlier and the iron, so. Oof, some grenades finally. A longbow Tesla with a zero second fuse is super good. A sticky a longbow slag grenade with a pretty long fuse. But the sticky is kind of interesting. But what do we get here? SMG damage 32%. Beautiful, beautiful. That's gonna boost up our TDR grenade chucks. I believe. So, that's huge. Can we get our, our ammo back every single round? Well, that looks kind of good. It's got four barrels. I can get five shots off on it. Maybe it'll be good. I mean, it's shock. It can help me against... Especially if I get reload speed mag size for my class mod. It'll help me. Against some of these raids. Let's go for... If we're doing TDR chucks, nothing beats reload speed. Right? So. 
Nothing beats reload speed. And we're going to go SMG damage for our relic slot instead of max health. A little bit of a downgrade once we run out of SMG ammo, but we can always swap back after. We'll just have to make sure we get that healing. Okay, sticky lob, corrosive grenade. I like, for slag purposes, I do think bouncing Betty's are kind of goaded status. Okay, let's go. Later, kid. Here we go, TDR chucks all the way. I've simplified down the graphic a little bit to just be Maya with a little check mark, and then now I have Axton in white to indicate that Axton has not yet been complete. In the top left corner, and I made the death counter smaller in the top right, so I think people will have better vision of the mini map. How about a grenadier for your lad? SMG accuracy, no thanks. Plus five plus six grit plus five pressure is pretty interesting. It's like ultimate can't kill me Axton. But I've I've found that the best way to play Axton is really just to go for a grenadier or a legendary soldier. Class mod. You know, one of those legendaries. They're usually pretty strong. Okay, let's get this. Ooh, it's corrosive. It looks pretty. But so does that. Sticky Lob Slide Transfusion. It's time 6 with a 0 0.9 second fuse time. That will slag and heal. Okay, Adaptive Shield. Take that. Now this Breach Blaster, it's E-Tech, it's dull, it's got a blade on it, but it is corrosive, it might help me. It might help me. Oh, did we get a power-up? Okay, at post-round, somebody remind me. Shadows in my head remind me to go grab that. Come on, I never make that jump, I try it every time, I never make it. Get up there, always clear the top first, I gotta remind myself that. We're gonna go grab the Pressure Plate and the Vault Symbol. There we go. Make sure we, I'm gonna kill a larger enemy. So we have a better chance of better loot. Nope. So here we go. Vault symbol me. What do we get? Corrosive damage is a huge get. Huge get. Because when we need corrosive damage, it'll be there. Don't have a launcher yet, and that bandit launcher seems like it'll be a great four slot weapon. Okay, so we go pressure pad, and then we go for the red candy. I think it's Mopies. Vladoff ARs are cool, so we take. And we got ourselves a nice Garnet Droog. That's going to be our go-to option now. When we fight Cromorax or when we fight... Pyropete. Which is sick. We got something. Okay, so let's take our five. Wait, this Widowmaker is a little bit stronger. 500,000 damage. I'm trying to figure out which one has the highest. So I think we just go willing. I don't think we need to do anything else crazy here. Okay. Go three, two, one, pick up Mopies. So this is extra uh, pellets, correct? So a Drew would be fine here. Really fast fire rate. I think the depth of field is causing these enemies to become blurry. I might turn off depth of field and see if that helps here. Let's see. Okay, so I turned off depth of field. I think we are maybe in business. Oh no, let's go. Let's not uh, skip any loot here. Later, kid. The Droog obviously is insane. Break it down. Mm. Mm. Break it down. Cooldown rate. Huge gap. When we're in the dragon fight, cooldown rate might be our most important stat. Because these, these turrets is a big reason why I choose Axon a lot of time when I want to go for a win. Look at that max size. 36. Reload speed's only 0.1 second slower. It's easy take. 2 ammo per shot for Malawan is not really what I'm looking for. If I, I want it to ding enemies. And... Ooh, an Anarchist, actually. Okay, so let's do Anarchist in slot 1. We can, we can use all the guns. We're Axton. That's what we do. Oh. Hey, buddy. You know what? I just got this anarchist. Why not use it? Sorry, bud. 
Whoa. Loot. Loot enemy. Come on. Baby maker. Baby maker. Baby maker me. Okay, it's a Logan's gun. So, Logan's gun isn't the best for traditional combat. However, however, it's one of the pieces I need for sham fleeting. If I can get a Norfleet and a sham shield with this Logan's gun, it'll be pretty sick. But just to do a little bit of Logan's gun shenanigans. I mean, it's, it's trying to get through a shield is not the best with it. But it's not terrible. Oh, loot we rat. Gotta make sure this is the only enemy I kill here. There we go. Two loot enemies. A whiskey tangle fox try. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not ever equipping that suicidal shield. Okay. We just got totally gypped by the game, by the way. Chance to drop an IED booster when damaged. And I, I've even given it a chance to, like, do some good deeps. But... Even then, it doesn't feel like it does anything. Okay, what do we get? Typerian Sniper. I'm not the biggest fan of them. It's Slag. It's TDR. Okay, I'm really looking... If I'm going to go an explosive build, I'm going to really be wanting to get, like, a spitter or a cannon. Um, or... A, you know, like a Ravager, a Hulk. Nothing else is really going to catch my eye. Hey, okay, last chest and we head on out. Sniper rifle. This Revenant might be something that I'll use for slag. But I already have a slag option. Alright, so five points. We're going to take Onslaught. I think we want the extra move speed on kill. I think we're set up for success here. Oh, it's Bonehead already. Jeez. Kind of wish I got this guy a little bit later on, but is what it is. There we go. Okay. I see that Mopey's candy. I'm saving it for next round. Out of, out of blammo. Switch to my Droog. And we get a Fire Teeth of Terramorphous. It's actually a pretty nice get on Axton because it, I believe it scales with a grenade damage. Pretty nice get. Happy about it. How's this going to do against my current one? Slower reload speed and smaller magazine size. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can get something better for shields and grenages. i shooting some skulls. Okay, we'll be over there in a second. Nice little Ravager pickup. I don't know the parts that well, but that's a Tor grip. That's matching grip. I think that's the... I mean, it's a vertical foregrip. I don't know if it's the wrong one, though. But Hyperion stock, I believe, is better for accuracy. So you know what? I think we take it. And we just pray that we get ourselves a... I mean, it'll be good enough for now, but we pray that we get ourselves a Grenadier comp. Obviously, take the Asari for one. Maybe not equip it right away, but we take it. Longbow Fire Burst is a must take. Okay. Kind of a little bit L loot right there, but the Longbow Fire Burst is a nice add to the squad. Is that everything? Did we get that chest ready? No, we'll grab this chest. Then I already went up. I believe that's everything besides the Mopey's candy. Okay. Let's go with three. Oh, to collect my reward first. Oh, man, I really thought. Plus six grit and plus five last ditch effort is such a funny combo. All right, so we're going to go five points. This is probably going to be my respec angle soon. But let's just go Grenadier. More Grenages. We like Grenages. Okay, bring it on, homie. First, we start with TDR trucking. Hey, stop Stop healing him. Can I hit that? Oh, I do hit that. All day, every day. Okay, this guy doesn't do much damage, does he? Okay, that's all I got for that weapon. Switch to my Ravager. Reload me. 
It's a nice quick reload, Axton. Don't walk to the edges. Dang it. I'm going to kill him anyway. I'm on a mission. His loot's going to go flying. You didn't want that work anyways? Okay, don't go flying off the edge. Go left. Yes! Wait, no, yes, no, yes, no. Where did it go? It went flying somewhere. Okay, I think that that's got to be a big part of it. I would assume. All right, what do we get? Love Thumper, a yellow jacket, and a Fibber. Okay, so this is... The Fibber has potential. And my item slots are getting filled up with some good guns here. I think this is the explosive one, no? This one might be decent on Axon. What, what's over here? What's green? Okay. Take as much iridium as I can before heading out. I need the iridium. Trust. I think we got his loot. I don't think he dropped his legendary or anything. So we already got his dedicated drop, anyways. Okay, so our torpedo, it consumes four ammo per shot. His fire rate isn't even that slow. One milli on the books. Okay, we're going to give it a chance. I haven't really given a torpedo that much of a chance in the past. We're going to give it a little bit of a chance here. We're going to go steady. Battlefront. As much grenade damage bonus as I can. And even overload. And then swap the torpedo in for the droop for now. And I believe, I think this this is a Torg weapon with a Torg barrel, right? So it actually, doesn't grenade damage not help it or something like that? We're going to try it out anyways. Okay, let's go. Three... Two, one. So I'm. I heard someone in the comment section told me that if you use a Torg weapon with a Torg barrel, it doesn't get the grenade damage scaling. Let's throw down a turret and see what we can get done. Meanwhile, something like a Ravager will absolutely just probably obliterate these guys. Yeah. So let's just. I believe that is true. I I believe the after what I just saw, I, I believe the rumors are true. This one gives us steady and pressure. This one, yeah, steady is a really great skill to get on this. Oh, Mopey's candy. Okay. You actually don't really want to use it on. Wow, this kind of really does suck, huh? Can't even one shot with Mopey's candy. Okay, there's a, there's a, a. Come on, I know this. Mo Mo uh, Jusos. Jusos. We take it. This is a tough stage. I want to get out of here. Legendary Engineer class mod. That's what I'm talking about. I could probably stick to reload. Just, like, just reload chucking, but... Well, Ion Loader got to get rid of you. Ion Loader got to get rid of you. Perfect. Okay. So, I don't know where all the secrets are on this map. But I would love to find them. Longbow Cross of Cloud, obviously, is a great pickup. Especially if you can get it on a discount. I just gotta not fall off the edge and I'll be fine here. I feel bad about this this Torg Asarfo, but I don't believe it scales with grenade damage. I think the cannon definitely does, but not this one. We're actually gonna go Fire Teeth of Terra Morphous. So I know this gun scales with grenade damage. And it's scary. And it's cool. We take. I do not know where the hidden pressure plates and stuff are on this map. Pressure plate or vault symbol. But if I had to guess, I think somewhere in the beginning, maybe. No? How about, I know exactly where you hit it. You hit it right there. Yes. Let's go. I think you just get over there by simply jumping. Yes. Did you double up the the hiding spots? Are you It's actually just behind this. That is unfathomable. It's without fathom. See, a Torque Hole Puncher. Maybe that I'll get. 
Oh, that's a nice pushback. Maybe that'll get... Oh, don't jump. Okay, this is actually kind of a dangerous location. Gotta be careful next time I do that. Oh, plus six and steady. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think I'm not gonna look forever for the vault symbol. That could be shotgun damage. Oh man, I really want to know where it is. I'm gonna keep looking for it and I will see you guys in a second. Oh, that was easy. Here's it right here. Chill next to this chest. I'm sure I found it before. Max health, that's tough. That's tough. Our five points, we're gonna go for a nuke. And then... I say we go for reload speed. Let me continue on. We can still go TDR Chucks. In fact, this is no better time to try it. But if I can use a Fire Tooth to Terramorphous on something, like for fun, that'd be sick. Good night, brother. And Skaggs is one of the only times I think I'll be actually able to do it. So let's try it out. They'll storm me. Oh, get one shot, homie. Metal Storm and Onslaught is the real, like, double combo. You know, gun damage, fire rate, movement speed. Oh, this gun just is insanely fun. Let's go, baby. See, I like TDR Chucks, but TDR Chucks is, like, the same, you know, the same thing every time. If I can, if I can mob using something else, I like to do that. This is just a really simple, no Grenadier, but instead just... Oh... Rolling Thunder? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him. Don't hit me. Hit, hit them. I would I would actually very much like a Grenadier, grenadier comp for this part. Boom. Um, later, kid. Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought I saw something else that was good in here. No, not the Incendiary Transfusion. They, they, they take too long to blow up. I'd rather have a lob because the transfusions, after they blow up, they they become homing that's when they start to home and that's what makes them so good for slagging because they're guaranteed to hit but you don't want to be homing first shotgun damage plus 33 percent holy molly we're un unstoppable now yeah we definitely go ravager ravager tech no a loot skag you'll be forever missed Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Jump on the left of this. Okay, left side of the rock. Okay, I think getting rid of depth of field was actually like a pretty nice decision, to be honest with you. Okay, Jericho... Yeah, the reason why the Snyder is better than the Jericho is because it has a higher slag chance. In my opinion. Ooh, Gunnerang! Welcome back to the squad. It's a love-hate relationship. Don't get too... Don't, don't get too comfortable. But yeah, we definitely want to have it out. I know I haven't. Get, I didn't even give the favor a single chance, but now we got Gunnerang, laddie. Okay, a Grenadier would be nice. Come on. <laughs> How could you do this to me? All right, let's get our five points in there and then roll. Reload speed. Shields are better. Let's get out there. The free. Okay, so this is not a good stage for any of the guns that I currently have. These enemies are small. Um, but do you know what is good? The rolling thunder. Now we're using our dome pieces. There we go. And we just barrel stuff them with the the fire to the terramorphous. We're completely fine. Eight out of ten already. And I was nervous about this. Oh, racks. Perfect. That was easy. So easy. Yeah, some of the rounds, if you do have on the clear round or clear enemies on a round end, some of the rounds, they do feel a little bit easy. I kind of like that extra size, but no. Okay, so we need to find ourselves the, the vault symbol and the pressure pad on this map. Oh, come on. Grenadier, come. Grenadier. Grenadier. Nope. <laughs> Grenadier. Four, four, four. So I, I have, okay. Here's the vault symbol. Explosive damage me. Max health plus fifty six percent isn't bad. I very much enjoy the backpack change. 
that you have 100 backpack slots because I'm at 58 right now. But I find that I kind of pick things up slower as I go. Definitely taking that TD or SMG slag version. Now we seem to find the, the pressure plate, which I don't exactly remember where it is. But I think I, I can check up there. I might be able to find it. Okay. The Vladok barrel makes you think it's going to be good, but realistically, it's still only a 1.3 fire uh, second fire rate or 1.3 rounds per second. Which isn't that great. Hmm. Is it? I got to remember where it's at. Is it over here? And you climb and you climb and then you get up there. No. Okay. I'm going to keep looking. I'll, I'll be back in a second. Listen, you guys aren't gonna like this one, but I'm moving on. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we're moving on. Oh, I, I should have shoot. I should have taken my points earlier. I think, right? Because I can get grenadier. Oh no. Okay, onslaught is huge though. Onslaught is a massive. Get one shot, and now we got movement speed. We have answers to a lot of our problems. Once your shield goes, you're done. Nukem. I'm gonna reclaim. Open up this so we can easily jump up here. Now we went in doubt, rolling thunder out. There we go. With that high grenade damage. Keep chucking. We also wanna be shooting Tiny Tina's bombs. Nuke him. And barrel stuff his ass. Later, kiddo, what you drop me? Trespasser, decent, a decent weapon to get, and a Pushka, very decent weapon to get. Okay, I'll recover you. No big attack, no big attack. Ah, uh, he got it off. That's not good. And I go down. Don't let him get into cover. That's our first down. Stop picking up my money, bro. Don't, I don't want to walk too far forward, but I still want to get... A grenade up there. There we go. Okay, let's shoot this tiny bomb as, as quickly as possible. There's one. Can I hit it from here? There's two. Run, 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 run. We actually open up these along the way. To be far. All magazine size and burst delay is actually insane. If we can get a toothpick, that goes insanely strong on that weapon. Okay, I do like bandit SMGs for slag purposes. A big magazine size is nice. I like things that glow red. It's another Pushka. I just got one. And some muck muck It's pretty nice with the high crit damage. It makes that single that single bullet damage is pretty good. Alright, last bunny. Last red chest. Porta potty me. Okay, don't mind if I do. Explosive damage. There's 24% on that bad puppy right there. Perfect. Ooh, pow. Okay, melee shield. Merv, merv, merv. Longbow fire burst. I already got one. I don't think there's that big. Come on. How about a grenadier for your lad? Okay, more grenages. And we move on. There's a red chest right in front of me. <laughs> okay, so these guys have got shields. Do, what do I have... That it's good against shields. I think this yellow jacket gets grenade damage scaling, so we're gonna slap it on. Get nuked. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the fire teeth of Terramorphous. We're saving. We're saving that candy for a more desperate time. Okay, this guy is immune to shock. But he's most certainly not immune to fire. Hopefully that explosion can kill somebody. I think I did that to myself. Realistically. There we go. Okay, let's keep to tossing nades. Explosive, I believe, is good against these laddies. Okay, desperate times call for the desperate measures. Grab this, one shot him. We just pray. We pray for the strength of our oh ravager with the extra pellets let's go we cleared that like it was nothing 
Huge, 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 huge. And what do we get? Rock Salt, a Boom Puppy, and a Love Thumper. Okay, we take Boom Puppy. Because I have been well informed at this point now that the reason I think that sucks is because I'm bad with it. <laughs> so I think it might actually be pretty, pretty okay for us. Also damage, I believe it's the same percentage that we have already. Oh, look at that Ravager. It's worse though. Meanwhile, that Torque that Torque Launcher looks pretty shiny and nice and new. All right, we take some points in Able, and we go, and we're gonna see what we're gonna give her raid boss. Okay, so here, let's just make it really simple and throw so why we brought it along longbow fire burst just a, just a couple of longbow fire bursts for the lads no big deal toss a turret in the back this is gonna give us extra grenade damage excuse me i'm trying i'm trying to live here oh my gosh the carnage the carnage the carnage the carnage the carnage okay that should be it Beautiful. All right, so we're not gonna take that. The, the, the issue with it is, the issue with this Juicos candy is that it's really good for killing the raid boss, but unless it's Hyperus, I won't get the one shot anyway. And maybe Pyropeat, but I wanna spend some time in Sanctuary, buying SDUs, hitting the box. I've, I've saved up a lot of Iridium. I might, be, I might be at max Iridium. So I wanna hit the box up as much as I can. 475 is a nice chunk of Iridium to enter the box room with. Ooh, 476, okay. And I'm gonna go double capstone here, able into double up, and then straight into preparation on the right side tree. Okay. Let's see what we can do. First, I talk to you. Second, we have to think about what you what are you gonna give me? Thank you. We we're gonna think about after we hit hit the box a couple times. Oh my gosh! Okay, so we have a pistol that can get the job done. Now the one on the left is way higher damage. The one on the right is way higher fire rate. I think I like the damage better. Okay, we got ourselves an uncapped herald. We got ourselves a trap fire. Okay, I think... I think the box has been good to us. I think what we do is we go Sorryful, Sorryful, Grenage, Grenage, Pistol, Pistol. Sniper, Sniper, because if we... If we come up against... Pyro Pete, We'll be happy that we got the extra... There we go. A, pr a pretty well-balanced SDU experience right there. All right, so the Shred of Fire is going to be really, really good. Okay, so we get Pyro Pete. Wait, did I? I don't think I invested in Sniper SDU, did I? I think I did. I think I did. So, step one is going to be... Is going to be get our kill skills. I think that's going to be a really big part of this fight. But at the same time, I'm like, hmm... Where'd that Garnet Drew go? We're definitely going to be wanting that for this fight. The Shred of Fire could be go kind of nice. I don't think the Uncapped Herald's going to be that good. And in fact, I don't think Grenade Damage is going to be that good in general either. So we are going to do a respec. And I think we do Shield Capacity. Pressure. One point last touch effort. Quick Charge. Action Skill Cooldown. A little bit of Grit. To get to the capstone and now we can now we can start talking about kill skills number one kill skill we want is probably going to be or the two kill skills we want most are metal storm so let's grab that and onslaught so let's grab that it's gonna take a lot of points here but i think it'll be worth it okay from there what do we want i think recoil reduction in the form of steady goes pretty pretty hard I think increased damage is not that useful for us this fight from Battlefront. However, 
I do feel as though magazine size with the sword fills might be pretty nice, but we are just going to go able. So it's going to be Shred of Fire, Droog, something to slag with. And I think that Bandit SMG that I got earlier might do the trick. You gotta, listen, this is what it takes. Can't go into these fights blind. It doesn't work. And where did that Bandit SMG go? Am I just blind? There it is. Okay, this is the, the build. Riddle speed, magazine size. I think maybe this... This engineer class mod might go pretty hard. Allowing me to get my kill skills up all the time. Okay, so let's do it. We're gonna toss one. Switch to my slag. Slag him up a little bit. Come on, just let me go. Toss two. And I didn't get it. I didn't get it off the right way. It's okay. It's a pretty ugly start. I have a trespasser. I need to I need to dink his face one time with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Two. So go to my trespasser. Dink him in the head. Dink him in the head. When are you gonna do your When are you gonna do your your Nova? Probably should do it right now. There we go. Do your Nova. I activate my action skills. And I'm not gonna have slag this time around. That's a that's gonna be a decent chunk of damage right there. Return to me. feel good about that damage and I don't need to spawn any lads if I do this properly do another Nova please oh, you tagged me I should be okay where I'm at there we go all right toss one let's switch to my Drew and see if that does better for me toss two. Oh, I need to reload that's a bummer okay start Oh, he does do that attack immediately after. Okay. Rinse off. Rinse off. Okay. Keep them alive for a second. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get pinned down in this corner. Okay, we're fine. Go ahead, toss again. Get my turret back. I need to get to this corner ASAP. All my kill skills are active. Don't take the dot. There we go. I should be okay where I'm at. And maybe I think slag might be absolutely essential here. But, oh, oh, my cheap menu. <laughs> um. Yeah, I need to go back to my slag. Slag him up. Grab a kill. I can get a kill. Where you at? There you are. What is my relic? Shotgun damage? Let's do cooldown rate and switch to a sorrowful magazine size and a sorrowful damage. There we go. That way I can still keep the massive cooldown, but now I get the multiplicative damage scaling for my SR rifle. Which I need to keep him slagged. It's a big deal. Um, I'm a little bit lost. Where is the one for the... There it is right there. For the no enemies that don't shoot you. Right, so first, let's go ahead and tag this guy. I don't know why I did that. Let's take him back. Get one kill. So I didn't even pick up a kill there, which is tough. Oh, loot skewer. Thank you. Tag him again with some slag. Slag Ito Bobble. He's got to be taking damage now, right? That's 
that's all I got. I mean, that's... That's all your boy has. He keeps getting unslagged. Don't like that. Remain slagged. What did you drop me? Nothing good. Okay. That is a lot of Rin session. That's a long Rin session right to the guy's forehead. Here comes Nova attack. Let's tag him with some slag him. Tag him with some slag him. Slag him, get a kill real quick. Let's see what we can do. I don't think my damage is too bad, to be honest with you. Okay, get back here. I think he's gonna do Nova soon. Yeah, there it is. I got my kill skills. Maybe I projected a little. By a little, I mean a lot. We still get some Metal Storm in there. Okay, now back to my Drew. Correctly scheduled Drew programming. Okay, surely he stays. Surely he stays slagged up for a second. didn't which is so insanely sad all right stay slagged up switch chuck chuck reclaim should be free only got one current in that entire burst do i make it in time oh not quite all right that's it is what it is let's go get someone some more crabs just use our, our bandit here like, if, if we have to come up across anything that's not, like, a, a super tanky raid boss, we just, we, we shred it down with this build. My hope is that one day, maybe one of these guys will drop me a power-up and I can end this fight. Oh, a slag up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we tag him. We get one kill, one kill, one kill, one kill. There we go, and we bag him. Out of ammo. That is tough. Then why don't we just go ahead and grab me some more ammo. Gotta tag him. The insta tag. I'm, I'm, that is as much damage as I can put out, I think. Reca reclaim. I swap. Out of ammo on that one. Okay, we are running low on the ammunition. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I need to grab my, my ammo. Oh, you're gone. We're getting a lot of loot enemies this way, though. To be honest with you. Maybe the strides to keep them on 1 HP and farm loot enemies. But they keep leveling up, so. Don't want to do that for too long. Where is this guy? There he is. There we go. Drop them. We should have gotten some sniper ammo from that. No, none. Should have gotten some assault rifle ammo from that. Did get some, but I get tagged again by a dot. Let's just end the fight. There we go. Got through. Absolutely got through. A hot blight. It's a really, really, really big shield. But it just decreases your movement speed so much. Maybe we will use it. I don't know. The shield is so massive. Six milli piece. Okay, legendary point man is something I can maybe get behind. Pressure, grit, last attack or able, healthy. Doesn't have any points in willing, which is tough. It's a decent class mod. Um, Patriot's not the best sniper, which is kind of tough. Okay. Very happy with overall, though. Overall, how that went. I didn't even get to use my Unkept Herald, which is a little bit sad. Okay, and a Longbow Kazar. Okay, and now we get a choice between Breath of Seraphs. Or, I mean, that could... We could go insane with, like, a... 
or a homing meteor shower. I was going to say, we could go insane with like a, a build that always goes down and stuff like that, but... Alright, thank you to the Droog, but you've now been since replaced. And it might be Uncapped Herald time from this point forward. I'm not too sure. I left some Iridium on the ground. I left like quite a bit of Iridium on the ground. Okay, so I might go Hoplite. And stick with the current... Like, double... Like, like double up on the on the movement speed. Like okay, what I mean by that is like always have this out, so that way when the fight starts, I can get extra movement speed from onslaught right away. Where's that? Where's the where's the lever? No way I ran past it. Because a six million size shield is nothing to scoff at. Okay, so it's not there, but I think it is after. Yep, and it's there. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, we go on to tier two. 46 minutes is not, honestly, not a bad tier two. Typically, for tier two, I like to push. I don't stop at pressure plates because usually the gear I get from the box is better. And the gear I get from tier three pressure plates is better. So tier two is usually the, the tier where I, I do the least farming. That being said, there's just so many, too many red chests here to ignore, like right in front of you. So grab this, go up, bring me up there, thank you. Okay, let's head out. Our build, we might do a respec here. And the respec is going to go something like this, I think. It's going to go healthy, preparation. Quick charge. Resourceful. Grit. One point in pressure, probably another point in pressure. Something like this. And then we go down the middle skill tree, we pick up Metal Storm, we pick up Steady, we pick up ah, Battlefront. Go for Willing here. I, th I think this is good. I don't think we necessarily need Battlefront. We make a one more because, yes, it gives us more grenade damage, which is super, super nice. I should go five points here. Then five points quick charge, five points here. Four points grit, one point last ditch effort. And then we go double up our turrets, metal storm, steady as she goes, do or die. And then we come over to this right side tree so we can get able and we can get willing. And we forgot the most important part of the build, which is Onslaught. But after next stage, we will get points in the Onslaught. And then we can go for maybe the Hoplite Shield. This should be a decent enough build. We just activate our kill skills, and then we run around taking things out, hopefully. If this guy doesn't want to stick behind cover the entire time. There we go. Can we do it again? Now, I don't have Onslaught, which is a big part of it. But after this round, I will have some points in it. Melee him. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Why I'm doing this? Just getting into the into the, the muscle memory of it. And my... I believe... Legendary Point Man is good. I think I'm going to stick with it. But I'm going to go pistol damage plus 35%. Or times 35%, I should say. I seem to get through this round, and then I'll be bing chilling. There we go. Keep my kill skills going. As long as I can chain kill skills, I'll be good to go. But my have my turrets is back up just in case I can't. Out. That's hurting me. Stop hurting me. Grit. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Oh, I'm too tanky. I'm too tanky. Plus points in the last ditch effort should make me really hard to bring down. And we killed the we killed the hardest raid boss first. That means that the world is our oyster. Okay. So we go points in the onslaught right away here. And then I think what we do is we put on the hoplite. 
So the hoplite's gonna make us super slow, but right now it doesn't matter if we're really slow because we have god mode status on, so we're quick. And then as soon as we do our our turret trick, right, we'll get onslaught, we'll make us even faster. Eee. Which is gonna be very nice for battlefield shenanigans. I could of course run a a stratifier for this like having such such a close range gun maybe isn't the best idea so maybe i do rock the stratifier sorry for max ammo is nice it's a nice get i'm not too concerned about running out of ammo in, in mobbing rounds okay tier two vault symbols are usually decent but we're not gonna take captain blades auto idle curse of the sudden or death okay so explosive should be good here to be honest with you okay now recall we should be quick boy right quick and strong boy because our our shield is seven seven million and because of onslaught we are not necessarily slow we're not i don't think fast but we're definitely not slow i shouldn't have done that Yeah, so now we have fire rate, gun damage, movement speed, all that stuff on everything we do. Uh, as long as we can hit, get kills. And it's a mobbing round, so we're going to get kills. So it's very rare where you can't get kills, realistically. Melee damage and slag damage. Can we take the slag? We're still getting points, which is huge, huge, huge. Now, honestly... Turrets that slag is a pretty big deal. I'm not going to need slag. I have a slagger. So why don't we go... Bigger shields. And healing when our shields are full. Let's just go full tank. And we're not using our... Oh, there we go. A sheriff's badge. Beautiful. Exactly what we're looking for. That's why we like those tier two, tier two vault symbols. Tier two vault symbols have really high value. Tier three pressure plates are the best, though. Onslaught and plus, plus five onslaught and plus six impact. Seems really good. I kind of like this, you know, this legendary point man thing I got going on. So the, for the first enemy. Like, these guys are not going to be able to destroy my shield in any... Anything close to a quick amount of time, so... Um, I can maybe come back for this Juicos candy. It spawned right in the middle. Maybe I use it to clear this round faster. Ooh, lordy. Vault symbol me. A better sheriff's badge. Ain't that so neat. Okay, slap him. Get over here. Thank you. Look at us. Look at us. Okay, I think I'm slow again. Get a kill before our kill skills go away. So our kill skills go away, right? But I still have a lot of time before... Before my shields come into any sort of danger. The scavengers are just really tanky enemies in general. There we go. My damage isn't crazy high. It's not high at all, but... Making it through these mobbing rounds pretty quick. Okay, we are going to go all the way back to the start. Nice little Hulk action. From back to the start. I don't know where pressure plate is in this map, but honestly, I'm not going to care about it. Wait, I already, I already got the juice of this candy. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Able makes sense to me. Max out grit. Go forbearance. No dots. No dots. I don't know if I get any more points, but I think that might be it. We'll go shred of fire this time around, maybe. No, I went all grenade damage, but our shred of fire damage should be good. Especially if I. Hmm. Honestly, I think I should just stick with 
I mean, this should be fine as long as I have the right. I, I don't really have the right relic for it, to be honest with you. No assault rifle damage or anything like that. Okay, let's go back to our uncapped herald. Okay, we did get a kill. I think I saw the rolling thunder though. What do I have for my grenade? The, the fire burst, that's right. It's actually, now that I think about it, really good for this zone. Okay. Very cool. Do I have do I have any points in Battlefront? I don't. Which I am missing out on quite a bit of damage, I think, by not taking it, but I like kinda of having it in my back pocket for when I need to get a quick kill skill, you know. My turrets at least. It gives them really, really good utility. And I still feel like I'm playing an accident because I'm still using my turrets for something extremely useful, you know, even if it's not purely for their for their damage or slagging potential. Okay, let's use some brains. Is that a Druk? It is. It's fire too. If we go up against Terramorphus, we have something. Oh, oh, we'll make it there. This 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 hoplite is absolutely large. Very very large. Okay, shoot a brain. Okay, we got slag up. We have shred of fire. I might swap over something that scales off grenade damage. Maybe something like a Ravager. Even though it does kind of the same job, though. It does kind of the same job. Maybe it is a Druk. Something that can tag from afar. Pretty sure Rackman has a shield that I want to get rid of. So I will take use this. The legendary Point Man should give you some movement speed. Just saying. So here's, here's our plan. You ready? Here's our plan. We toss. We toss. We reclaim. We drain shields. We toss nades. Okay. Very cool. Use up all of our nades, but that's fine. Shoot the final brain. What did you drop me, by the way? A teapot. Okay. Singularity, a Merv, a Merv. Dang, you really jipped me out this time around. We're still getting points to put in. I mean, I, I sure, I think that's got to be it, though. We are tanky. Very hard to bring us down. Our damage isn't the absolute highest, but it's very hard to bring us down. Which is fine. We're, we're mobbing anyway. Our damage is good enough. All right, so for this fight, for this laddie, I think fire is going to be the way. I think the Gromky Droog is going to be number one in the field. Number one also, you might consider in our hearts. I kind of want to go to like a something that does more damage, but I guess I'm fine with what we got now. Let's ring the bells. Come on, snowman. What up, homie? My favorite boss fight. I think. I mean, he's really difficult. His mechanics are insanely obnoxious. That being said, I think he's still fun. Still have a sheriff's badge on. Let's go for... Don't have a sniper damage or incendiary damage relic. Let's just go for cooldown. Okay, here we go. It didn't work. I didn't get my... Dang, I didn't get my kill skills. That's okay. We're gonna kill skills now. I have no fear about dying in this fight, I don't think. Do, 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 do. Let's throw a turret and then a second one. You can't kill me, I'm immune. I'm gonna run out of blammo though. I see a second laddie. Here we go. 
His crit spot's really easy to hit. Only problem is uh, he CCs you so much that it's hard to hit him. Great, saving my life right there. I might go down, but here we go. Let's put on pistol damage. And longbow fire bursts should get the job done. Oh, I go down. That was a nice snipe of that frostbiter. Buy through these turrets, the world may never know. Okay. Keep up the deeps. There, yeah, that's nice damage right there. Alright, let's toss one. Toss two. Get my kill skills. Go ahead. Knock me up. Thank you. Well, oh, I can't hit criticals with the, with the Uncle Terrell. Let's go for that. Kill skill me. Oh, now you want to drop me a Jolt's Candy. Crazy of you. There we go. His hat is beautiful hat. Do, 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 do. We are too tanky for you, so you'll have to go soon. Goodbye, friend. Alright, so what did we get? Rigorous rifle. Cooldown rate, shield recharge rate. I like the relics that we're seeing, just need different ones. Okay. The shield recharge rate actually might go pretty crazy if we do get a B shield. And we want to do B shield shenanigans. Okay. Pop that. Let's see. A 12 pounder, an order, and a fibber. Second fibber we've seen. I just don't like. I get the 12 pounder does really big damage. I just don't like using it. It doesn't have any explosive radius. It is kind of like a, a launcher sniper, so we might... Who knows? Maybe we, I will slap it on. Uh, let's go next. I'll collect my inventory my reward first. Thank you. Go, oh, Maggie. And we are done getting points for now, so... No more points for your lad. What do we get? Opportunity. Let's pause it. And let's go for... Sticky Lab Transfusion. Obviously the strongest... Grenage... Four jolts candy in the game is the transfusion. Okay, the transfusion, the jolts candy is still active. Okay, it just stopped. It just ended. Let's just let's just assess the carnage after. Ooh, legendary, legendary soldier class mod. There we go. So the point man goes, and maybe it's time to start dropping stuff. Let's just go down to the. Any greens and stuff that we have. I don't think we'll probably have that many. But get rid of those. The anarchist, I'm sorry to tell you, you're gone. The bad sheriff's badge, you're gone. This aggression relic, you're gone. Um. Bad max health relic, you're gone. Okay. And now we can just start slapping other things out of here. Handgun. Stuff that we're just never going to use. TMP. Have a slag. I don't need that anymore. Trespasser. Might be nice for hitting down the dragons. Keep it. TMP. Hole puncher. Torpedo. A lot of the stuff we just don't need anymore. There, we made some room. Okay, still no Grenadier class mod the entire game. It's fine. We have a legendary soldier now, which means our respec is probably in order. To make better use of the overall skills that this one is giving us. So one point sentry, one point in reload speed, one point impact, one point in expertise, weapon swap, and aim speed. Healthy and prep. So that's really nice to get those points across the board. Let's go down middle tree to get to do or die. I think I wasted one... I wasted one point by putting it in impact. Let's go battlefront. Still. We still need double turrets. We'll go preparation. Pressure. Quick charge. Resourceful. I'm a grit I'm a crit grit kind of guy. Reload speed me. Willing. Onslaught. 
Okay, I think I stop there. And I go back to... I'm trying to think about what's going to give us even more damage potential. I mean, getting this one's pretty good. Ranger, because it gives you a lot of stats that you don't get anywhere else, like critical hit damage. Fire rate is nice, too. Let's just go... Five points able. One point grit and one point forbearance. I think that will be a decent setup. And we can just go ahead and leave right away here. Wait, I can't leave because I got to clear more enemies. Okay. Now I can grab this legendary class off the ground. That's all the reason I cleared my backpack in the first place. Let's go get him. I still get access to double turrets. That means onslaught. Right, so I'm still quick boy. So my, my kill skills will be gone. While this guy's just staring at me, he's like, wait, you're not supposed to be here. It doesn't matter, homie. Does not matter. Sorry. I just open up this one red chest, check my inventory, and we can head out. Nothing that great. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Okay, one turret. Two turret. Three turret four. I need to get moving. Don't greed for loot. That's more. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Feel good about that right there. That's good deeps. Good night, homie. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, this is so strong. This is what he, legendary soldier class mod is what you play for. An unkept herald to get you to get you moving, and you just keep it. You just keep it moving. Honestly, the action feels so good when you get to this point in the game. So so good. I mean, I know we're like level eighty power levels, but still, like, oh, I bounced it off the head of the other one. There we go. And now we got our. Now that we got one kill skill, we don't really have to do that trick anymore. It's just now we can just use our turret as a simple. Use our double turret as a as just a standard damage boost. Because we're getting way more damage when our turrets are active. There we go. Let's reclaim. Do I have cooldown on or do I have my Yeah, I've got my pistol damage on, so. So this this skill right here, this one is the only one that I think that, that can compete in damage with the legendary soldier. I think the legendary soldier. This offers more overall. Like it gives me cooldown rate, gun damage, and fire rate. All three. Triple whammy. Maybe my, maybe my three most important skills. So once we do the kill skill once... Oh, never mind. They just got one shot. They were like, you know what? This guy knows... This guy just did the kill skill trick on Axton. He's got an unkept herald. Maybe we should just leave. And honestly, don't blame you. Okay, roll out. Three, two, one. Southpaw Steam and Power, please don't be. It is Oni. Oh my, Atlanta. I actually got Pyro P and Oni in the same run. So, Oni kind of sucks to play against. Because he resists explosive damage. So, I'm going to have to pivot my strats when I get to him. But for now, I don't have to pivot anything. I just throw down my turrets. And keep my kill skills up. Okay, Oni is here. We have a million um, fire bursts I can throw down. Maybe we do do that first. All right, what do we got here? My turrets are out. I do get bonus damage. Grenade damage with my turrets out. We'll see how much damage that does to him. Is he, is he getting hurt over there? Yeah, he is. Okay, now I just maybe use this... This fire sniper to maybe get the job done. Kill you, get my kill skills. There we go. We're taking him in. We're taking him down. He's basically a a mini boss slash boss on his own, this guy. So I do not mind taking my time. Doing this the right way. I'm looking for that other enemy. There you are. Once I kill that enemy, I can then switch my targets to this guy because I'll have kill skills. 
we go. Good night, homie. The Captain Blade's a manly man shield. Really? Make him anything better? Okay. We can roll out. Tier 2, we just push. I'm not going to go near those chests on the edge over there. Not even going to go near them. Scorch, easy fight. Easy fight. I'm happy to get it. I could have gotten, you know... I know I already did fight the probably the hardest one, which was uh, the Handsome Sorcerer. I honestly don't even need to kill these laddies. It's just fun. Here we go. La da dee, la da do, la da dum, da dum, dum, dum. Okay, come on now. It's too easy. Oh, Scorch, did you spawn in? That's the sound of you spawning in, I think. Um, I think I'll just get a regular kill. I don't need to undeploy my turrets here. We'll go ahead and get a slag on. A little slag on. Go right through her shield, right through her armor, don't even care. Oh, there's a big chunk. Okay, you don't need slag turrets, you don't need anything else. Literally all you need is double turrets. What did you get me? A Jolly Roger, a Jolly Roger, and a Skyrocket. Well, oh no. I think my game might be soft locked. Scorch is still alive. Collect my rewards first, okay? Here we're good. Oh, no soft lock this time. Wow. That was scary. You thought you could soft lock me, huh? I saw some nades. Get some turrets out, which will increase my grenade damage. There it goes, like so. Snowman are basically made for Axon because he's just a really good grenade character. How many grenades we're getting back? No one crosses this line. <laughs> and we're so tanky on top of it. It's just so, so nice. Um, hello? Any snowmen? Oh, there's one. <laughs> what up, homie? I'm sorry, lads. Wasn't supposed to be this way. Oh, my ears. Get back. Alright, so. Token of wealth is inside this. Look at that. Can we go around? Hit up all these chests. Okay, and see if we get anything good from it. That's something good right there. Okay, we head out. Click my rewards first, of course. Hmm. Max health, a sorrowful max ammo, and sniper rifle max ammo is actually kind of nice. It's actually kind of nice. Because if I'm, I'm, what I'm really looking to get, what I'm really looking to get by the end is a toothpick. Okay, we have a new launcher now. Speaking of launcher, let's go ahead to the SDU machines and get launcher capped. Get pistols capped. Get assault rifles capped. Get sniper rifles capped. SMGs can... can wait. Okay, let's go. Please just give me Terramorphus to make this super simple and clean and fast! I actually got the two hardest ones. Okay, as far as I know, this guy resists shock, or he resists uh, grenade damage and explosive damage. Let's give it a shot anyway, just in case. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate a kill skill. Okay. Activate a kill skills. Hit him with that and hit him with this. See, we don't do any damage to him with that. So what's it, what's it going to be? It's going to be... It's going to be... Our Garnet Droog. With a little bit of Metal Storm. Oh, I didn't get it off. 
was gonna say with a little bit of metal storm help, but might have the damage anyway. I wish I had something like a. Uh... So I wish I had said something like along the lines of a, a tornado. That's shock splash damage, but unfortunately I do not. Okay, we do we do get the we do get past the one phase that we need to get past to get our kill skills up and running. We can use explosive for all the rest of these lads. And our turrets will help us with that endeavor. We might be able to get away with just using the uncapped herald, to be honest with you. There we go. Especially with our turrets out, we just do a lot of bonus damage. Let's go ahead and slag them. And try to bag them. I honestly think this this is kind of fine, to be honest with you. There we go. We lose our turrets, which means we lose some damage. But that's okay. We have weapon swap speed. We have Metal Storm Onslaught going. Okay, I don't go down, because Grit will save me. I think I took some extra points in forbearance. We'll get those we we'll get those dots off of me. Okay, let's get our turrets going. Slag him up. Knock him down. He heavily resists it. Maybe I go. Like a shred of fire or something here. I think the Druid would still be good, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think the Druid is still number one. I mean, just use the Uncapped Herald for mobbing purposes. Okay, tier two. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, wow. All misses. There we go. I should probably aim down sight since I have better aim down sight. Gotta aim a little bit low. Ooh, that's really good. It's really good to get. Ammo regen as well. Okay, we are ready. We are ready for this guy to come back. Okay, let's grab this. Slag him. Throw my turret down. Wow. There we go. If I sell the candy, though, I want to make sure I keep my sniper out. Very nice. I was trying to hit those crits. It looked like I was missing some of them, but I was trying to hit them. Okay. Okay. Get him. There we go. Nice and simple. We got crawl one more time. Can I kill something? Okay. Destroy you. Use this bonus damage while my turret's out. I wonder if... I wonder if something here. If because I took out his arms, then maybe he loses his resistance to explosive, which he definitely does not. It does seem like it's doing okay. This is no kill skills, by the way. No kill skills damage until I get one. There we go. We're just brute forcing this guy down with some shock damage, honestly. Or some uh, explosive damage, I mean. There we go. And then after this, we're, we're gonna get a plasma cast. Oh, not a plasma cast, sorry, a peak opener. Let's run the game with that. Okay. 
Cromorax is a d dead Morax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. Finish the kill. Very nice. Did you drop me anything good? What did I get from my... Oh, this is a Devastator, okay. What did I get from my drops? Anything decent? Notice how I was like never even close to ever thinking that I'd possibly even go down one time. Oh, Hornet! That's a great option. Fantastic option. It gets some splash damage and it's corrosive. Oh, it's got a nice sight on there too. A sponge. Shield. Mm, it's such a, it's like a worse sham, to be honest with you. Alright, let's grab this so we can loot faster. Might not be the best use of it, but it's the use of it I am doing. Okay, what do we got? Still nothing. This loot room is disappointing me. Come on. Guaranteed ledgy. Dang, a lot of red chests. Not a lot of ledgies and red chests this run so far. But we here we go. Tier three is where it all all of our efforts culminate into one final push to destroy the dragons. Now, the dragons, of course, are the hardest challenge of all of Rogue Lance. So no matter how fast we push there and how strong we think we are, it can shut us down pretty quick. So you guys gotta keep that in mind. Now, we're using a hoplite shield because it's a massive. But the hoplite shield doesn't necessarily mean that we will survive the dragons. In fact, we've gone down already to bosses, so. We still most certainly are going to want to be dealing some major deeps. At Washburn Refinery, this is a great time to have a Hornet. All right, so we know once we get one kill, we can start chaining them. Then we can also get our turret out here for bonus damage. And that's when this is when we start to get really strong. Once we get our kill skills chaining and our turret back out, that's just when Axon's at his very strongest. Yes. See a Mopey's candy on the ground? We're saving it. Alright, so tier three pressure plates are a go here. Let's let's speed run this. Here. Here, I don't know if he had to go up here. Oh, got it. Okay. Don't jump over it. Beautiful. Big opener. First, first one. Okay, anti-faction and a Becca are wow picks. And legendary soldier. Okay, so that was, I mean, you can't really complain. Oh, a heartbreaker or a twister? Shoot. I would have loved the Twister against Pyro Pete. I would have loved the Twister against Craw. Still taking it though. Okay, so let's grab this. Head out. You can't complain about that loot from there. We got ourselves a Becca. We got ourselves a. I forgot what the other thing was. All right, let's grab this. What's the legendary class mod there? Oh, see you later. That's right, I got extra pellets. Alright, let's make our way up towards the pressure plates. Okay, we got no kill skills. Slow boy, but... Our shield remains at maximum charge. Maybe that less movement speed will actually be a blessing here. Yeah, I won't bonk my head. A storm and another anti-faction. That's what I got. I got an anti-faction. We get our kill skills going. Once our kill skills get going, toss a turret out. And then we will be unstoppable. Unless these enemies start TPing in behind me. There we go. 8 out of 10. We might not get... I mean, there's a, there's a chance we might not get a peak opener. We might have to rock what we've got. 
And I'm confident because I have a slag up. I can slag up the Dragoons. Uh, unkept Herald that can land crits, but I would like an assault rifle that does the same thing because I can buff up an assault rifle with magazine size. Bam, bam. I mean, I could use the Becca. The Becca doesn't get grenade damage scaling, but it's still super strong. Oh, there you are. Finally. You're going to make me loot the entire stage, bro. Before you show up. Okay, let's get around. Let's take it around town. Oh, wait, where are you going? Hey. Joke. What is it? What are you? Extra shot chance is really nice if you don't have a relic that goes with your with your build. Backpack is getting a little bit full again. That's why I kind of like 150 backpack size, but 100 I get it is decent. They made that standard across everything. Okay. Toss you, toss you, uncapped herald me. Go guys, come on. My shield is way too big for that kind of stuff to work against me. Okay. So even with these onslaught points, you can still see how we're somewhat slow. Those dots don't last very long on us. Let's get a turret out. There we go. That's just how fast Axon is though. Like even with a hoplite, we feel pretty quick. Let's go ahead and slag this guy. I don't have my kill skills. I can grab some though. There we go. There we go. Once we put all of our damage numbers together with slag, we can burst through that guy pretty quick. One thing my turret for what's doing for me right now, being out here, give me bonus damage. Now the kill skills will take it from here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so pressure plate on this map. I don't know for absolutely certain where it is. So I will go ahead and look for it and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so I was just running around to opening chests looking for bonus loot and I found a bee. Got ourselves a bee shield. So hopefully if turrets can tank aggro from the dragons for me, maybe I can get a bee shield up and running. Think what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm still looking for this. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I found the pressure plate. How you get to it is you come to this back corner of the map and you use this staircase to get on top of that building, get on top of that ledge, jump to the up to this catwalk. And boom, unicorn explosion. It's a nice get. Very nice get. Okay, in a storm. We move on. Get my reward for us, of course. Trespasser again. Let's move on now. So I'm thinking maybe like B Shield Becca shenanigans could be really, really good. Okay, hopefully this will be enough damage to get them through one enemy, and then I can use the kill skills that I acquire to get through all the rest of these enemies. Flaming Lunatic, what's up, homie? Now I got my kill skills back. Where's Clayton? I thought Clayton was around here somewhere. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna lose my kill skills right as Clayton, Clayton appears. It looks like I'll be able to get them back off this climbing lunatic. Give me a reload real quick. No time to swap to slag. Hopefully we can get, get the job done with this. There we go. Okay. We are taking lots of damage, but our shield is, is fighting its way back up. Oh, okay, not good. That guy really wants to run away, huh? Y'all are lucky my turret is now. I'll be doing way more damage to y'all. Okay. I can't even see my target because of the recoil. Very clean. Very clean. Check my inventory. Okay, 50% cooldown rate is actually kind of insane. It might be even better than Legendary Soldier if I can get a B shield up and running that cool, that fast. Yeah. Let's grab the 
I do not believe there's a pressure play here, so we just keep it moving. I think Becca might be best. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out a way to kill this laddie. I think I have what it takes already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, let's toss one, toss two, reclaim. And then hopefully this will be strong enough to, to activate some kill skills onto this laddie. I want to kind of want to keep it in my back pocket. There we go. Got some kill skills now. I kind of keep my my turrets in my back pocket for when there's no more turrets on Saturn. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing for me to kill on Saturn. Oh, there is. Okay. Very cool. I could have had my turret out this whole time. Probably would have killed him by now, but this is what it is. Okay, I don't know where the last target is. We just get our own kill skills. So easy. And we're so tanky. Like, we survived the first initial hit. Okay, Caustic Leash. Okay, another Becca. I can, I can compare them and see which one is better. Very nice loot. Very, very nice loot. Okay. Click my reward forest. Of course. Bunny, I don't think it's going to be that useful for me. Okay, so I got to... It's going to be tough to decide how I'm going to... Spec this. I right, toss one turret. I toss a second turret. Let's just do this practical. Then we get our kill skills. We don't get our bonus damage from our turrets yet. But that's what... But that comes after. So right here. After the first couple. That's our that's the price we pay for using our turret as a kill skill generator. We don't get the bonus from Battlefront. Right away. And I'm dead. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. Make it. I have never been more alive in my entire life. Now here's the question. How do I beat this round? I think I beat it with accuracy, precision. Is there any way back up? Okay, I see it. I see the way back up. But I don't need to do it yet. Okay, one, at, one bolt at a time, we're going to take out this guy right here. Give me a critical. There we go. He should be running now, but he's not. There we go. Eight out of ten. Okay. What about grenades? What do I got? I have a sticky lob slide transfusion. So if I could just toss this somewhere up there, it's sticky, right? That'll find him. That'll put me at 9 out of 10. Okay. I don't see any other, any other enemies. We're going to have to go for it. Okay. Make it down. Make it across. I wonder if this is where the... The pressure pad is. You know, like if I was hiding it somewhere, I'd put it back here. Somewhere where you have to take a ladder to get back up. Oh, wait, we can just take this ladder. It's way nicer. But it, oh, it looks like it only takes us to the middle platform. Got it? Understood? And then we gotta be really careful not to die. Going for the middle platform! Oh. We are a little bit slow, but I don't mind being a little bit slow for this. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is what it all comes down to. Maybe if I walk far enough this way, I can get more enemies to spawn. I don't have to try to make the jump. Okay, I'm taking off the hoplite. Ooh, man, I'm scared. Okay, made it to here. Now, make it onto this chain. If I miss, I die. 
Oh my gosh. I made it up. To somewhere a little bit safer. Gosh, this game is terrifying. Wow. Okay, let's get the hoplite back on. Plus one turret. Grit absolutely saving my hide. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That was one hell of a round. So, let's go ahead and let's look for the pressure plate. I would like to find it. I was down there. I didn't see it down there. Maybe up here. Oh, a hidden ladder tech. No, there's a red chest tile. Okay, so we might have to look around for a bit. I'll see you guys in a second when I find it. Okay, we found the vault symbol right here. This corner. Captain plays auto idol. Thank you very much. I'm not taking it. We need to find that... That all coveted tier three pressure pad and my thing is i don't think it's down th down there although if i was placing them that's where i would put it i don't want to go back down there it's too risky in, in my opinion so maybe i could check like somewhere up above But as far as going back down there to check for the pressure pad, ain't gonna happen. Plus six battlefront, plus five impact is actually insane. This can run with onslaught instead of impact. Okay. Nothing over here, right? Yeah, nothing over here. Okay, I'm just gonna head out. I'm not gonna. thinking maybe be underneath those stairs or something okay i'm heading out no pressure plate here no pressure plate at all okay mobbing round seven we are almost to the very very end here okay let's go for a, a swap in this this zone can get pretty loud hey chill out brother Don't you know what's gonna happen to you if you don't chill out Okay, very cool. Now we got my kill skills. I can throw a turret down and get maximum damage going. Okay, Renage me. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Plus a couple of Grenages. They're sticky, they'll do some deeps. Especially on Axton. Back it on up. The grenade bounced right at my feet. Back up. Yeah, here we go. Oh, who said that? These guys, they're saying they're going to do a lot of things to me, but they're, they're failing miserably. Okay, I need to find the pressure plate on this map big time. I can't go two maps in a row not finding pressure plate. So, to me, it's an absolute must find. Doesn't look like it's up there. I know where the vault symbol is here. It's right there. For pressure plate, I don't know. Could potentially be up there. It's not. Don't go chasing waterfalls unless they hold pressure plates. Okay, let's grab this vault symbol. Vault symbol me. Okay, we got mouthwash. If we can get toothpick, we will we'll be very much set. We're running out of opportunities to get it. Okay, let's go, let's go find the pressure plate. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, as I'm jumping around, looking around, I can actually see it over there. So let's go. Oh yeah. Get me up there. How do I do it? That's gotta be the way, right? It has to be the way. I jump onto that corner and I can jump onto that corner. Wow. That's quite the parkour. Stalker me, retainer, a butcher though. That's pretty good. Let's start dropping some more stuff. Deputy's badge. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna start dropping stuff. I'll see you guys in a second. Y'all ready? Boom. That was a pretty sick one. Okay. Take this butcher. I did throw my Ravager on the ground. Take it. Okay, let's just head out. Three, two, one. The dragon bite is up. fast approaching. I could go a little bit of world burn action. I haven't done it yet. I mean, if you want to talk about damage, get my turret out here and I can just world burn this entire map at any point. Okay. It's just so simple with the world burn, honestly. All right, so pressure plates here, I believe, is this simply back behind these? Yes, it is. Okay, so the unicorn explosion, Nirvana, and another Becca. I think my Becca's a little bit better. This unicorn explosion might be good. I'm. I don't think I have any more. I might have one more mobbing round. I wanted a peak opener or a toothpick or something. I mean, I think the Becca will be fine. It's just... Please be what I want it to be. Oh, nope. That's going to be it. There's no more. You guys can chill out back here. That'd be great. Because ain't no one here killing me. Trust me. On spawn. Just rinse them. Okay. You're hiding out right there. And then you want to spawn up top. Yeah, the, obviously the, the world burn goes crazy. But we're going to go to the, the Hornet here. We don't have any kill skills active. But we will. Oh, cross the fastball. Would you look at that? It's perfect. I think this game loves me now. Okay. Um. Once we kill this laddie, we'll be able to get kill skills. Thank you. Once we get our kill skills active, we should be able to do some big deeps to this guy, especially with our turret out. night does this guy resist uh fire enough to live world burn sh spam don't think so to be honest blast him yep he's he's done world burn goes crazy all right what did you drop me boom you should have dropped me a blue weapon boom where's my blue weapon honestly this might be a beer bottle this might be a shoot beer bottle time. Can I can I shoot it from over here? Shoot, I don't know if I can. Okay, we might skip the, the beer bottle. But Boom should have dropped me a blue weapon. Is what it is. We go. We go next. Collect my rewards, of course. Legendary Ranger. That's fun. If we really wanted to go B shield, we could go that. Oh, I just I just, I, I just find it hard to believe that you're gonna have what it takes. To withstand the might of my world burn, you know? It just does too much, bro. It does too much. Okay. Toss you. Put you down. I didn't get the kill skills. We just wait. Okay. So we can just... I think here we can actually just toss down a turret normally. Kill one of these tendrils. And then we can have both... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I should chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. We can have both kill skills and our turret out for bonus damage. Okay. There we go. So we have grit in the first place to save our life. Okay. We take this because it gives us eight rockets. It's a very big get. We've been spamming our rockets. Okay, this is it. The final chest. What did we get? A Pyrophobia, a Neo Generator, and a Legendary Soldier. Okay. I think the Neo Generator is a really, really good shield. As good as the Evolution, but I think it's still pretty good. Varuk or a Thrusting Unkept Herald? How about we just take a Varuk? 
I'm not gonna be probably be using it, but Bam Bam Island. I still get this round though. Still get this round. We are going to world burn it, I think. Let everybody spawn in. There we go. And let's take a shot. Um I just killed like 30 enemies and it didn't count. There we go. I'm gonna say. Let them all spawn in. Come on in, the weather is fine. There, kids. Axon, of course, is insanely strong with launchers. All right, this is where it all this is where it all comes together. We place some iridium on the table. Come on, grog nozzle in slot two instead of slaga. I think is gonna be a little bit better. There is a grog. There's also a hail. I could. But it's just that it's unfortunate that we didn't get a, like a decent hail though. Let's go grog nozzle. I want mag size on it. Okay, we got incendiary damage. We did get it. Cool. So our number, our new slot two is it's no longer going to be the, the slaga. Instead, we're going to go for grog nozzle. It's just going to heal us at the same time, which is better. Woo, here we go. It all comes down to this. Do we go B shield shenanigans? I think we I think we do. I think we want to go B shield shenanigans. A couple of Slayer of Terramorphus comes. Grenages. It's good. Woman Kazar. Longbow bonus package is actually kind of sick. That might be what we use. So. Let's do it this way. Let's respec. And I think we want... I think a B shield is what we want. And we go ahead and we slap on the... Legendary Ranger. And we do... Shield recharge rate. It's a, it's a pity that this doesn't give us any points. in willing, but... Now we go Metal Storm. We're gonna to want to access to because we're not gonna be using our kill skills so so much because we need our turrets out there to tank. It's a, it's a big deal. We need a couple more points in this tree. I think duty calls actually makes some sense. Okay, so sentry and reload speed. I might not be able to take all these points in this tree, to be honest with you. So, go down this one. Quick charge, thank you. For barons, thank you. Resourceful. Times two turrets. Grit sounds important to me. I'm taking it. Then, if I go Becca, I don't need Metal Storm at all. I think Abel is good here. If I go Becca and back up Butcher, Butcher would be kind of good though. I think this is going to be good enough. We go B shield, we have our turret tank for us, and we try to one shot with Becca. Now we probably want Overload, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to respec. So that I can get a little bit more damage going with some assault rifles. Let's do it. Let's go impact, assault rifles, battlefronts, duty calls, ranger, reload speed, sentry, onslaught, willing, obviously, evil. And do we really need two turrets? I don't think so. Let's just get slag on our turret instead. That looks actually pretty good. And then I don't need two turrets now that I think about it. Last ditch effort, forbearance, quick charge, grit, resourceful. 
I think we actually want the extra points from resource wall. G give me one moment to, to make sure that I get this exactly right. Don't need Metal Storm. That's something that we're skipping. I want the extra points in Ranger. Those are, those are some decent percentages and some d okay stats. And then some Reload Speed, some Sentry, some Willing. I don't really need Onslaught. Would be nice though. We could get it up and running. Two turrets. I don't think is necessary. I mean, this is all kinds of messed up now. Yeah, it's all kinds of messed up. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I think I found a decent build here. We have five points in forbearance. All these defensive skills. Willing. Our B shield should get up and running really, really, really quickly. A Becca, a Butcher, a Grog. Our grenade of choice. I think I'm going to go for a... It's a corrosive fastball. Honestly, a corrosive fastball to keep me alive. And we're going to use this Butcher. To hopefully I can have a little bit of iridium left. There we go. Toss this turret down. Go. Okay. It's pretty decent damage, honestly. Slag him up. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Hit, hit the other guy. Hit the other guy. Hit my turret. You're supposed to hit the turret. That's the whole point. I wonder why they're targeting me. But and either way, I have my... I might be shield back up, or as I did for a second there. Come on! Please, stop! Yeah, I can, I can kill one of these laddies, these small laddies on the ground. But my fight for my lifetime is going down really, really quick. Okay, this is not good. Not good at all. Um, B shield, go away. Actually, Grognos will come out. Okay, this guy's really low, though. If I can get him down one more time to the ground. There we go. Okay, now... I should be okay to slag this guy up a little. Once I get my turrets down, I should do a little bit better here. Okay. Back to Becca. I want to keep these other two guys alive if I can. There we go. Now blue comes down. Beautiful. Get, let's get a little bit of slag on him. And now I can use my corrosive fastball grenade to heal me up pretty quick. This Becca's doing a great job. I'm going full recharge, shield recharge in my build. So with my, with my turrets down, I really have to focus on... Um, ah, shoot. I was going to say, I, I think with my turrets down, I really have to focus on... Not my shield, but instead my cooldown rates. 41% is the highest I see. Let's go 43. And then 50% from our class mod. Toss a grenade to get us back up to full. We have a lot of a lot of action skill recharge right now. Okay, healing is down. Nope, that's not good. Hit him again. No, that's a bad down. Okay, we should be fine to get back up. But we need to get a healing and that back down on the ground if we can. There we go. A little B shield Becca action. B shield Becca. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's get purple down here if we can. Purple. He's behaving a little bit strangely, but he can't be slagged, which is actually kind of a... Kind of nice for us, because we don't really care about it so much. Now the strategy is coming to fruition. Cool. Rebecca gets us there with full shield recharge stuff. Which is crazy. Let's go Legendary Ranger. Recharge delay. And what's the second stat? Yeah, recharge rate and delay. So like our shields come back so fast and they haven't coming back so fast the entire run. Ow, 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 ow. Woo! That was close. Okay, he's back. Hit him with that to get all my 
Health and shields back. Okay, we got our B shield going. He does tag me, which is not good. But our turret goes down. Goes out now. Which it should tank for me a little bit. There we go. And now you go down. Woo! There we go. Let's get a little bit of a check mark up there. Let's get that check mark. Let's go. Yes. Oh, what a run. An hour and 55, baby. That's one heck of a run. Holy cow. A Fable Tortoise. Actually, it might be a little bit better for this next fight coming up. Okay, a toothpick. Grab that toothpick. Um, we still have one more fight to go. So, let's see. A Devil Penetrating Unkept Herald might be exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So let's go Devil Penetrating Unkept Herald. I see that Hammer Buster, but I'm not going to go it. I don't see much else on the ground that I would take over this. A Hot Mama, no. Anti-Fection, no. I don't see a, a Peak Opener anywhere. Okay, we still got one more fight. Now, I'm still, I'm still going to call it a, a check, so I'm going to go ahead and make that check mark now. All right, so there we go. The graphic is up. The axe and win is in. Now it's time for the four fun challenge. Let's see if we can take out this even greater boss. Now, I don't necessarily... I've, I've had a... I've died to this boss once, which means I had a build that beat the dragons that died to it. That being said, I feel pretty confident in my abilities to complete it. So we have to shoot all these crystals. Including the ones that are inside this zone down here. I don't know if you actually have to go down there. I think you might. There we go. Nope, you don't actually have to go down there. Sick. Let's do it. The final boss. So, as of right now, we don't need to do much of anything besides just use our B shield to clear out these enemies. But once we get to the boss, it'll be maybe a respect time, to be honest with you. Go for more of the explosive build. Ooh, maybe I'll go Juso's Candy. Yeah, Juso's Candy, go, 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 go. Get me there, get me there, get me there, get me there. More speed, more speed, more speed, more speed. Come on, the fastest ever, fastest ever. Ooh, thack, Lord of Skag's kill of all time. No, no. Okay, got him. Oh, baby, give me those service crystals for Tana's, for her crazy experiments. Wow. What a run. We just, honestly, we lucked out on Juso's candy on the one mob that spawns out there. Craziness. Wow, an insanely good, fun run. Didn't even use peak opener. Used the Becca of all things to clutch up the dragons. I mean, of all things, it's a great, great weapon. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I will see you all in the next one. We continue on leg three. The Ultimate Roguelands Gauntlet. See you next time. Bye!